11 games in, what does that mean for you and your place with this team? Yeah, I mean, just super excited to be here. Um, you know, this is a place that I've called home since 2015. Um, the city, the fan base has meant so much to me um, throughout my career, and the fact that I get to continue to be here, continue to be a Cub and represent the organization means the world to me. Ted on opening day said in-season negotiations is kind of if you want to do it, just because he knows he respects that you may not want to. Yeah. What, in your mind, made you want to continue those negotiations in, into the season once you know, spring, spring training ended? It's a place I've always wanted to be. You know, that's been pretty clear about that for a long time. Um, you know, I think just the fact that I, you know, have wanted to wear this uniform for as long as I possibly can um, made it pretty easy. Um, no, I think, you know, there's a lot of a lot of things going on in spring, a lot of things that were happening. You know, we talked for a long time, but I think um, it was just, you know, it, it happened at – I don't know what changed or why, but you know, just all of those things at some point come together and you get some momentum. It's just sometimes it's hard to find the momentum and then once you get it, um, things can happen quick. When you spoke with Nico, he had mentioned how mentally he's kind of moved on from the idea of an extension. And then it, was there a point at all where you thought, all right, I'm, I'm moving on? Or? Yeah, yeah, pretty similar. I think, you know, when you have to go out and play, during the season, you know, at some point you do have to you have to move on from it, and you just have to go play and compete. Um, you know, and that's that's part of you know what we do. That's part of you know you learn that through years of arbitration and years of you know playing year to year. Um, and so that's you know that that is what it takes to compete at this level. What does it mean to you to get the deal done, given your career path, right? When you had your ups and downs, and you were able to put it all together last year. It means a lot to get the deal done. Um, you know, it means a lot to be here. It means a lot to continue to be here. Um, you know, been able to be on a lot of good teams here and been able to see a lot of, of really awesome things and see a lot of games at Wrigley Field. And so to continue to do that means a lot. You've seen a lot of your teammates in a similar situation. Unfortunately for them, not to be here now. What, what kind of uh, advice did you get from them? And what, what took your sanity through all this? It's pretty stressful for all these guys going through that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I definitely talked to Riz through the process. You know, he's such a good friend and so close. Um, you know, and seeing those guys and being there, uh, especially with Riz through the process and kind of learning from, from his, um, you know, and having him as guidance. And, you know, everybody's in a different point in their career and, and a different path. Um, but for me, um, just to be able to be here – and you know, get the deal done in a structure that I felt you know made a lot of sense for me um, is is really rewarding. You understand the market. If you were to put together another good season this year, put the cash in and off season, did you feel like? When did you decide you were willing to kind of compromise and, and yeah. take less than what you would have gotten in the open market? Yeah, I think that's that's the part of an extension, right? There is compromise. So for me, you know, it's compromising on structure. It's compromising on on term. And, you know, taking something that is three years um, and, you know, runs through baseball prime uh, and, you know, having to go back out the market in 32. But that's that's was my concession to be here. You know, I really, really wanted to continue to wear this uniform. I really wanted to play with this group of guys um, you know, with Nico and Saya and Tyon and Dansby and like the guys that are going to be here like that part of it. Um, and then and then the city and the fan base and like what it means like that is the reason why I was willing to discuss a three-year term because if that was what was going to get it done you know that meant a lot to me. This offseason was where they acted as a free agency did that help motivate you yeah I want to see this too I want to be here. Yeah I mean you know I've seen I've seen a lot of different teams here but that's you know it's when you have a group that you feel like can really do something special, it definitely helps. But, you know, for me, the fan base, like I said, the fan base, the city, you know, what it means to me and my family, like having been here for so long, uh, I really wanted to continue that. You talked about fan base. Did it mean a little more today when you ran onto the field? Yeah. The video board and everything? Yeah, yeah. I mean, definitely. I think, you know, being able to 
I think as this, as the season goes on too, and and you get some of those big crowds, and you have that ability to like thinking about going out there and doing that, and and and, and acknowledging the left field bleachers over and over for the next you know three plus um, you know four years is is really exciting. Ian, when you look back, um, was it hard to to break in on a, on that kind of contending team, and maybe having sort of a runway these last couple of years come into your own? Sort of make it easier for you? Yeah, I mean it's challenging as a young player um, when you're in another lineup when you're you know you're fighting for for playing time and you feel like you're um, you know maybe getting in a groove and then out of it and then in it and out of it and and hitting from both sides. There's all those things that are challenging. You know, playing six positions is challenging. Um, and those groups, you know, it was all about winning and you know the development of like trying to figure out how to play in this league, especially as the league was changing so rapidly as high fastballs are coming in the game and how different that jump is from AAA to the big leagues. Like, there's so much of that. You know, I had success early and, you know, even in the down years, like, there was definitely stuff that you could take that, you know, getting on base at a 350 clip in 18. Like, there's all these things that you can take from those years. Um, but eventually getting the runway in 20 to play almost every day uh, and then the second half of 21, like, really getting to be in there and, like, feel like um, – played every day in that second half and had success and found some stuff that I could carry into 22 and then playing 158 last year like those are the things that really give you the belief that you're supposed to be here and compete at this level and you know not every path is linear but um, to have that opportunity was definitely huge for me. I mean, the to me, the exciting part about being here is being able to build something and work towards a championship, right? So, um, you know, I, I think that is the motivating factor for me is, uh, is how much that I love this place and, and love the idea of, you know, competing in the playoffs in a Cubs uniform. Um, and so that was the part that was so motivating. do you feel as if you've grown as a leader and how important has it been for you to kind of take that past, right, the Rizzo and that crew, and carry it into what you guys are building in the future as well? Yeah, um, well, I think that comes with experience and it comes with playing every day. you got to be out there every day and you got to be uh, available and posting for the group, you know, and, and setting that example. And I think that, you know, naturally, you know, the relationship that Nico and I have and, and you know, having – I, I played with Justin Steele a long time ago too and like all of these guys I've seen them come up now and like been a part of the organization long enough to you know provide as much you know wisdom and you know the experiences that I've had in the game um, and that's a fun part of this From year to year with your contract how much you were just looking forward to mentally breathing for the next few and just not having to worry about that sometimes. yeah yeah that doesn't set in yet I think but the uh you know, you do. It's that's the baseball life. You know, you go year to year for so long. You get to arbitration, and, and it's a really nice um, accomplishment. And then, you know, you're still every year fighting for whatever that next number is, or, or you know, to to continue to grow in your baseball life, and then to get the opportunity to actually, you know, sign a multi-year deal. Um, you know, we've we fought really hard to make sure this is guaranteed, and that's. You know, a really uh, awesome accomplishment in the game, and so I'm, you know, I'm excited for the future, and I'm excited to you know play with this group right now and have the freedom to you know know that you know a bunch of us are going to be here together for a long time. Does your standing in the Players Association come into play in your mind when you negotiate, making sure that you're doing the right thing for that, or is it just about? Uh, I, I think it definitely comes into play, like, in understanding the market, you know, understanding um, the value of players and understanding, um, you know, where some of that stuff comes into play and how guys are being valued. Um, definitely there. Uh, and, you know, I hope that, you know, the, the structure and the AAV of this deal, you know, another player can use it. Schwab texted me and said, congrats, and I said, thanks for setting the market. You know, that's – the everybody works together um, – in a way that you, you know, you talk about other players, you talk about yourself, you talk about value, and, and that's how, you know, you get these deals done. And, and so, you know, I think that's the biggest part of it is education. Thanks. Thanks.